Apparently it's mushroom week in the Crocs kitchen. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Jessica. And I am Brian. This recipe that we are bringing you today has a little bit of a backstory because it all started one day when Jessica wanted to make a recipe from a particular cookbook that we both enjoy. Can you guess what the book is? I'm pretty sure they can. It's the Health Fan Solution. <laughs> and what recipe was it, Jessica? It was on page 188. Oh, look, it's right here. The Sriracha Stuffed Mushrooms. I like had my eye on this recipe and I don't really like mushrooms. Like traditionally I've never liked mushrooms, but ever since we switched to eating a whole food plant-based diet, I've tried to incorporate them more. You know, as you saw in our last video, which if you haven't watched it, we did a video all about mushroom powder that Brian likes to throw in different recipes. That was kind of his way of sneaking it into recipes so that I got the benefits of mushrooms without actually eating them. But I had my eye on this recipe because anything sriracha is tasty in my book and they just look delicious. They so do look great. I made these and it ended up triggering the, which by the way, side note, sorry, I always get distracted. Yes. I always do, I'm sorry. There's a lot going on up here. Too much. Too much, okay. In the blog post for this video, I will link you guys the Healthspan Solution. They actually have the uh, that recipe on their website, so you can check it out. But of course, you can also find a link to the book itself and all that good stuff if you wanna make the sriracha stuffed mushrooms. But that's not what we're making today now, is it, Brian? Nope. Because when I made those, your little light bulb went off and you went in a whole different direction. While we were eating them, I was impressed by obviously the flavors and the texture and all of that. And it reminded me of something that my mom used to make and still makes, I believe, to this day, which was these Italian sausage stuffed mushrooms. And she would make them for parties. Basically, a simple recipe. It's Italian sausage that's been cooked, mixed in with cream cheese, and then you stuff it into them, <laughs> and then you bake them, right? Really, really straightforward party food, right? And I thought, man, there has to be a way that I could make that style of stuffed mushroom uh, with all of those great flavors and with that same sort of uh, feeling to it that I got from eating my mother's mushrooms before. Yes. And I think I actually did pretty well with this recipe. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. So of course, for this recipe, you will need some mushrooms. We are using 24 ounces of baby Bella mushrooms that have been cleaned. Look at that, nice and clean mushrooms. And the stems have been removed, but we are actually keeping the stems because they will need to be diced. These are not diced. So Jessica, could you dice these for me? Thank you very much, Jessica. Also, you will need one half cup of finely diced shallots or red onion. Peef, can you help me out? But Peef, that it's not chopped. I need it chopped. What? Thank you very much, Peef. For the rest of this recipe, you will need one half cup of raw cashews, one quarter cup of nutritional yeast. We like to use the brand from Trader Joe's. You will also need one half teaspoon of toasted fennel seeds, lightly toasted in a dry pan, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, one quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika, one half teaspoon of ground or rub sage, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a dash of cayenne, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce, and a 12 ounce block of soft silken tofu, and that is all. In a saucepan or a skillet, heat it up to medium to medium high because we are going to water saute the chopped up mushroom stems and the shallots. So just throw them into the pan, let them cook for just a second, and then put in a little bit of water so you can make them to where they won't stick. And after just a short little bit, the mushrooms will start to release their own liquid, and then you won't really have to add anything else. Really what you're looking for here is just that the mushrooms will take on a little bit of color, the shallot will take on a little bit of color, but mainly you are really wanting to cook out all the liquid that is in those stems. So after a few minutes of cooking and stirring, you should be able to see the bottom just fine without any real liquid on there. Then you can just go ahead and remove it from the heat and set it aside to let it cool. 
Now for the fun stuff. In a high-speed blender, you will add all of your cashews, all of your nutritional yeast, the toasted fennel, the Italian seasoning, and the smoked paprika, garlic powder, sage, black pepper, cayenne pepper, all in there. These are all your dry ingredients. Yep, get it all out. Get it all out there, Jessica. After that, turn it up to high and let it fly. Not literally, don't let it fly. Put the lid on, obviously. You wanna keep the lid on so it doesn't just go everywhere. But you were looking for a nice, fine powder. Don't blitz it too much, or else it will turn into sort of a gummy paste, and you really don't want that. In fact, some of it can turn into a paste, so you really wanna try and use an underblade spatula and get down to the bottom of the corner so you can loosen up anything that might be there. After that, just add in the entire box of soft silken tofu. Uh, you will not need to press it or anything of the sort because it is soft tofu as well as the lemon juice and the soy sauce. After that, blitz it all together and it will form a nice creamy paste. I do suggest though that you scrape down the sides and once again, get down into the corners because sometimes that powder can stick down in there. So you wanna make sure that that is all loose. Then just go ahead and blitz it one more time. Oh yes, the gratuitous pour shot. Look as it creamily falls into the bowl. You know it's bursting with flavor and deliciousness. Okay, I'm done. After that, go ahead and add in your slightly cooled shallot and mushroom mixture and give everything a good thorough stir together. After that, put a lid on it, put it in the refrigerator, and at least let it chill for an hour to overnight. Once the mixture has thoroughly chilled in your refrigerator, set your oven to 350 degrees and put your mushroom caps onto a pan. We like to use the Silpat. You can use parchment paper if you like. And it is very simple after this, just fill up the mushrooms with the mixture. Now, as you can see here, you can really pack this stuff in there. Yes, no, Jessica, go in the shot, into the middle of the shot. There you go, perfect. Doesn't that just look gorgeous? All right, now to do the rest of them. Technically speaking, if you wanted to eat them right now, you could. It's not that big of a deal, but trust me, they will taste a lot better once you cook them. So into the oven we go. Remember that was set to 350 degrees. You just wanna put it into the oven and bake it for 30 minutes. The mushrooms will release a lot of liquid as you can see there, but trust me, this is perfectly fine and the filling itself will actually set on top and become a little bit firmer, as you can see. You can enjoy these immediately right out of the oven, or you can put them into a refrigerator for at least a couple of days. Either way, they are absolutely delicious, and I hope you give them a try. So there you have it, a pretty straightforward recipe. I know I say that one a lot, but uh, the one thing that we really took away from the sriracha stuffed mushrooms was that technique of the cashews being blitzed into the powder and then all of that. It was just that sort of revelation is what kind of led me to making all the rest of this. It was that one simple technique that then led to other uh, recipe derivations. Yeah, that's a word. Uh, and, uh, and so, this, however, the Italian ones, these are my favorites. Okay, I like the sriracha ones, and we definitely encourage you to make those. They are absolutely delicious, but these are way more 
my flavor profile. I mean, just look at that. It's like just gorgeous. Now, we made these yesterday. Yes. And with all the, I was going to say TV magic, but we're not on TV. We're on YouTube. YouTube magic. We <laughs> now are sitting here eating them. But I did want to note that we, to heat them, to reheat them. So if you do make them the day before, when you take them out, the kind of like, I don't know, they don't look as nice. And, but if you just heat the oven back up to 350 and put them in for another five minutes, they turn like the golden brown, nice looking again. Um, but I do have two here that haven't been reheated and these are, we're going to try cold. So do you want to go, apparently you want to go for that right now. Yeah, why not? So I don't know. I thought, you know what? These might taste good cold. So let's see what they taste like. Ching. Cheers. <laughs> Even good cold. Mm. The cool thing I like about that though, mm. and even with this, is that it doesn't really have, I know it's kind of funny, it doesn't really have a super strong like mushroom flavor. And because the mushrooms are cooked, they're soft, but they still have a good little bit of a bite to them. I'm gonna try this so, baby one. <laughs> let's try the, the heated up ones. Mmm. Mm-hmm. They're good either way. Mm -hmm. There's a really, just that filling has such a good flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And if you have extra filling left over, you can always use that as like a dip. Yeah. And oh, you can use that for dip, a bunch like of different carrots, things. carrots, veggies, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's not like a, it's not like you have to use it just for stuffed mushrooms. You can use it in all sorts of things. Heck, I want to try to, to, you know, maybe make some mm -hmm. like a, some type of a pasta and mix it in with that and see mm. how it turns out. I don't know if it'll turn out great, but I know the flavors will taste good. But, you know, we'll, we'll try it out. We'll play around with some different things. But these mushrooms absolutely remind me of my mother's dish. Uh, I'd love to actually get her reaction to it. Mm. So maybe next time we, we have a family get together, I may make some and take them over there just to see how she likes them. Uh, but absolutely takes me back to growing up in my parents' household, and I love that. I love it when food connects me to a memory and I get to sort of relive a past moment of joy uh, through food alone, but through smell a, alone. But also it's nice to just be able to do it in a healthier way. Oh yes, absolutely. That you feel good about. So yeah. like we can still enjoy those aspects of our lives. You just have to kind of like be, think outside the box and be really creative with the flavors and all that stuff to make it like the addition of the tofu, that was something that we threw in like at the end. And we we're like, what if we throw tofu in here? And I think that really like made that cream cheesy kind of element mm -hmm, to absolutely. it. Absolutely. Um, and also I think it kind of just makes it bake up really nice. So It does. It gives it that sort of uh, firmer texture. And, yeah. Uh, but whenever it bakes, it sort of goes down and fills in like the rest of the mushroom. And it's just, a, it's an amazing little dish and an amazing little appetizer. Or, um, or something for a, a potluck or something like that. Just, it's a good treat, it's a good little dish, and I am absolutely proud of this one. And another secret is if you wanna leave some of the mushrooms empty and not fill them and bake them and then have more the next day, we, are, we still have like a bunch of the filling and some of the empty mushroom caps in our fridge. Mm -hmm. And so whenever you're ready to make them, you can just put it all together too. So there's so, you you know, you can make it for a party or you can just make it to have a little bit for you and then save, you know, for the next day so you don't make a party tray and then eat an entire party tray of mushrooms, which we could definitely do. But aren't you proud of me? But you you absolutely could. That's the amazing thing about this <laughs> That's dish. That's true. Is that it's 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 only mm -hmm. the one block yeah. of tofu and some some cashews yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, you could eat quite a few of these and and still be perfectly fine. Aren't you proud of me though? Because I I'm eating these and they're mushrooms. Yes. Did you ever think you would see the day that would happen? No. <laughs> So yeah, I think that this is definitely a fun little recipe. I know some of you have asked us like, why do you guys never use mushrooms? We do, we just haven't like made any recipes with mushrooms until now. Apparently it's mushroom week. Yep. <laughs> so I think that's all I got. Well, uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so and click the bell that is right next to it so you get notified whenever we post a new episode. Also, you can find us on social media, mainly Facebook and Instagram, but we do have other stuff out there as well that you can find. Uh, but yeah, mainly Facebook and Instagram. You can message us on there and, and do all that. Today, somebody messaged me and was like, hey, can you guys make a TikTok? And I was like, 
No. <laughs> uh, we're too old for TikTok. No. And and I'm also like too much of a pessimist to be playing goofy on camera for uh, I could totally. like 30 second increments. It's just not my thing. I could totally pull it off. But. You could. You absolutely could. Because you could do an entire thing with, with Peef and with the dogs and all that kind of fun stuff. Maybe do it. Maybe do it. I don't know. Uh, also, uh, you can you can find other contact information like our new P.O. box uh, down in the description and uh, on the blog post. Also, please check out the blog post. Jessica does put a massive amount of time and effort into those, especially developing the recipe like layout and the printable aspects of it and a bunch of other stuff as well as all the photos that you take of which you see like maybe 3% of the of the photos that are taken. Like I see all the rest of them and there's just a massive amount of them. Uh, but I think that's all I got. Mm -hmm. That's all she's got. We will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye. Bye. Mushrooms. Mm -hmm.